Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany. Welcome to the video and today I want to share with you guys my little desk tour. It's been a minute since I've done a desk tour. I kind of turned this room into my studio but I actually haven't been able to give you guys a formal look at what my desk looks like because I've been so busy doing work and like kind of coming and going that my camera is always facing this way and you guys never see what's on my desk and it's actually really really cute and also I've been doing so much work in this room that I think it's time I share with you the products that I've been using especially after I came out with that last video about how I edit and what my days look like when I devote the entire day to editing and so I want to share with you guys some of my favorite technology as well because it all resides on my desk it all just chills here and I've done a lot of upgrades in the past few weeks months so I really want to share with you guys an updated comprehensive list of what I use to make my YouTube videos run my online shop do everything Instagram Twitter all that good stuff as a business owner because this is pretty much what I've devoted my life to is this and YouTube and I love it so we are at my desk today this is my studio room basically what I've turned it into I have my studio room and I have my bedroom where I can be all cozy and edit and so when I'm in here I'm doing a lot of crafting a lot of making little things and I spend a lot a lot of time in this room so because I'm a creative my desk always has to reflect that and so I have a bunch of super cute stuff on my desk here's a little overview of what my desk looks like we have a lot of cute things going on here we have two little shelves here they're super cute I have some of my favorite books up there those are some of my stickers and we have some more stickers over there because that's what I mainly sell right now. Another rack of cute little things and materials. And over here we have my mailbox basically and all of the technology that I've been using as of lately minus this camera that I'm currently filming on. But these three things right here, although simple, are what I mainly use and they are so important to me. So let's talk about technology first because we are already here and I have most of it sitting on this desk. I do most of my editing in my other room, but in here I also need all of these things. These are three very nice Apple things that I use. I'm a big Apple enjoyer. Let's start off with the laptop. I got a new laptop about six months ago and it has changed my life because I used to edit off of a 2015 MacBook for over like four years. I edited all my YouTube videos on there and I never let myself get an upgrade. But when I graduated college, I decided it is time. So this is a 2021 MacBook Pro, I believe. And it is so, so nice. So incredible. It has two terabytes of storage because I need it for editing and editing will take up a lot of storage so if you're looking for a laptop to start getting into making videos definitely make sure you have enough storage and get an external hard drive which I also use but I use my laptop to edit and I use Final Cut Pro which is an Apple program and that is one of the biggest reasons I keep using a MacBook because I literally love Final Cut Pro I've been using it since I was 13 and I am 22 now and I will continue using it and not only do I use my laptop to edit my videos but I also use them to upload Upload my videos, run my website and my shop, which are so important. And having a good laptop that can run all of those codes is really, really important. So you want to make sure that you're able to do that. I also use my laptop to answer work emails, obviously, but almost any laptop can do that. But overall, this laptop is my baby. If I ever have a moment where I'm just sitting down and doing nothing, I can always just edit. Next, we have my iPad. I have the iPad Air. It is a pink one. It is super cute and it has a bunch of hamster stickers on there. These are my fish mouse stickers that you can see on my shop. I use an iPad to do all of my digital art. I have the Apple Pencil as well. I've used a Cintiq before, but I couldn't get behind it and I was almost never using it because I disliked it. And I really love Procreate and Adobe Fresco and there's not really any issues when I transfer these over to my laptop. The colors don't shift because they're all Apple products so they kind of get along pretty well. I actually don't use any paper overlay thing. I know a lot of people use like a paper texture screen protector and then you can draw on it with your Apple Pencil. It wears down your nibs a lot, so I don't personally do that. So I use it to illustrate all my products, make all of my thumbnails for my YouTube videos, animate, which I talked about a lot in my last video about editing, and of course my iPhone. I've been using this phone for a couple years now. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and it has a really good camera. I'm not gonna lie, up until like two months ago, I was using my iPhone to film all of my YouTube videos, and I feel like it was actually pretty okay. I mean, I've managed to make a career off of YouTube and just using my iPhone for the longest time. Obviously, I felt like I needed an upgrade, so currently I'm using the Sony ZV-E10, which is my new favorite camera because it is so amazing. This is the camera that I use. This is the Sony ZV-E10 and it's so pretty and also works super well. So this has been my go-to camera for my past few videos and I've been loving it. In terms of my iPhone, it has been a huge lifesaver because I also still use it to film when I don't have my camera on me because it has really good quality. So honestly, you could start YouTube with just an iPhone and a computer. I feel like it would probably be fine for like a long, long time because I 
did that and it worked for me. And of course, to protect my baby, I am using a Case to Fly phone case, which is actually the sponsor of today's video. And would you look at that? I happen to have a bunch of Case to Fly products on my desk as well. Wow. Case to Fly is one of the world's most popular tech accessories brand. And they also do so many collaborations with different artists. So as you can see, this case here is drawn by an Instagram artist that I really, really love and admire. So they were so kind as to send me a couple of these. And with the impact cases specifically, which I have one right here, they actually protect your phone from up to a 8.2 feet drop, which is pretty tall. That's like a floor, but they're also super customizable. So you can go on their website and customize them yourself. And if you prefer something more simple, Casetify also has these clear cases and they're also super slim. So they're really nice on your phone. And I have this clear one as well as an iridescent one. And I actually want to decorate one, but I'm not sure which one. I think we're going to do the iridescent one because it's so much fun and I love it. So we're just going to pop this on and I'm going to put some of my own stickers in here. These don't yellow with UV lights, which is amazing because you don't want a yellow phone case when you ask for a clear one. It's also made out of 50% recycled material, which it says on the side, which is so incredibly great. Why would you not want that? I'm not going to lie. I've been kind of tired of my phone color and this iridescent one really just makes it look super nice. And Casetify also sent me some little accessories. So they have these phone straps that you can use for your phones. They sent me one of them. So definitely check those out if you're interested. I will leave everything linked down in the description box below. And now my phone has a really cute new phone case. Is that not just so exciting? OMG, it's gonna go with like all of my pink stuff that I have on my desk. And so moving on to the rest of my desk. In the corner of my desk, this is the first shelf. And as you can see, here we have some burgers. So these are made by an artist named Megafell and I love her work. So I actually have three of them. The third one is over here on the shelf and this was actually the first one that I ever got. These burgers are literally so cute. These two are the newest ones that I got from Megafelt and if you guys make an order from there, let her know that I sent you even though she doesn't know who I am because I'd love to be internet friends. This is like a charcoal burger. Is it not super cute? And all the stuff is customizable so you get like your own little whatever you want in your burger. You can decide and pick and it's so cute. Mine has a hash brown and some cheese and some pickles even though I don't like pickles IRL. And then we have a baby baby one too. She makes little baby ones and they're so adorable. I love them. Oh my gosh. So I have a little family of burgers. But on the rest of the shelf, this is a drink from Japan that I had a couple years ago and I just kept the container because it's glass and I think it's really cute and I have some of these little zip ties in there and it just kind of looks like a plant without actually needing a plant in my room. So I just thought that was cute. These are my Tamagotchi blind boxes that you guys saw me open in a previous video and they're super cute as well. They're just little figures. These little Tamagotchi babies are so, so cute. And I'm trying to complete the set, but I have yet to be able to find some of the ones that I'm missing. So I'm waiting for the day that I can find. I think there's six total, five or six. Uh, I think there's six and I'm missing three of them. So hopefully uh, in a future video, you guys will see me unboxing some more of these guys. And they sit here on my Tamagotchi book that I have, as well as this other book that I love, Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me. It's a graphic novel and it's drawn so beautifully. If you guys are looking for a cute romance to read that also has a lot of self-discovery in it, I would highly recommend this one. So down here we have my sticker packs. I package most of these ahead of time for big events like my boothing events. And so these are the ones I have left over and also what I still have left to sell in my store. So we have some baby bunny sticker packs, gamer girl sticker packs, flower cat sticker packs, as well as many others in here. I think in the back over here, we have some of the jumbo sticker packs. So this has like a bunch of everything in here. These mega sticker packs were actually some of my best sellers at the Halcyon, which is a little event that I did like a few weeks ago. And I'll link that video up in the eye somewhere. That video has been getting a lot of traction lately and I'm super grateful for that. But if you guys haven't seen it, um, feel free to catch up on that. But these are packs of almost all of the stickers that I make and you can shop my stickers at tiffany.com. I will have the link down in the description box if you guys are interested in my art. These guys were my best sellers at the Halcyon, despite them not being my best sellers at another artist market. So it's always interesting to keep track of like what sells really well and what doesn't at certain demographics and locations because you never know. But yeah, these are always super fun to pack because there's a bunch of them and they're still on my website if you guys are interested. These are the best deal per sticker because they're cheaper because there's like a bunch of them in there. So you're basically buying stickers in bulk, but I would recommend these. 
I think the stickers I make are pretty cute, but um, feel free to check out my art in the description box. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have these dividers in there as well. And these are actually signs from the Halcyon. This is actually not cut very well. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fix that right now since I have, I have a little bit of time. Last time I was making these, I was in such a hurry because I made these signs at like midnight before going to my event. These are super cute. And I had them taped on my sticker packs to kind of show the prices and make people be able to read more clearly how what each thing is priced but i've just left them on here since then because they've been a great indicator in my little box of where each sticker set ends and where the next begins so i have little dividers that i've accidentally made now but because stickers are one of my best sellers i just keep a whole box up here so i don't have to constantly reach anywhere else to get my stuff this is a little cat ruler that i made a while ago it just kind of sits here because very rarely do i actually use it but he is super super cute and i actually want to get this to be like manufactured to be a product i think that'd be super cool over here this is my desk lamp but on the little base here we have some little guys so we have some sunny angels love these guys as well as my pencil holder i made this a while ago and i love it so i've just been keeping him here these babies are some of the few little ceramic guys that i've made but i think it's so cute and i don't know how but i want to make more of these and sell them again because they were so much fun and i literally love them so this one's a cute little chocolate strawberry baby and chocolate dip strawberries are so underrated if you haven't had them in a while go eat some because they're so tasty and i think you're forgetting how good they are he's super cute and over here we just have some products that i don't use often but they change depending on what i've been up to currently there are a bunch of earring making products and then here we have this little bunny that my aunt made for me a long time ago and she just kind of hangs and then we have another keychain that i made we have some little guys over here so this is a tape dispenser from daiso and it's really really cute it has some real akuma tape in there right now and this is a figurine from a Pusheen box I got a while ago. It's a little cappuccino. cat a I don't know. Really cute. And I just love, I love coffee. So she's been sitting up here with me. And this is a lip balm from Tony Moly, but it looks like a jelly. And I almost never use it, but as you can see, I have before. So maybe I'll start using it more now that I've started breaking into it. Yep, that's my little setup there. Again, like I said, this is kind of my mailbox. This is some of the mail that I received as of lately from my PO box. If you guys want to send me anything, Thing, definitely feel free to and I try to open a lot of packages on camera but I can't do everything but these are some of my favorite things that I've received so they stay in this little box and then of course my laptop my iPad and now my matching phone case can all sit and reside onto the rest of my desk so we have over here this is my little sticker cabinet it has a bunch of stickers in there so this just helps me stay organized when I pack my sticker orders if they're individual we have some flower cat flame stickers these are also flame stickers, gamer girl stickers, and on and on and on. We just have a bunch of different stickers in here. And on top, we have another tape dispenser as well as this guy who's super, super cute. I'm not actually a big BT21 fan because I don't listen to K-pop, but he is too cute. So I had to get him when I went to New York. Like, look at him. How could you not get him? He's a little heart guy in a little cup and you can free him. He's so soft and so cute. And I just, I love him. Literally, literally baby vibes because like, <sighs> Oh my god, free him! And this is my house. My house has mostly just cute things. I don't actually have many things that I need on here. On the top shelf, we have my burger as well as this little cake guy I made. This is a pencil sharpener. And this is Fish Mao's house. I don't know if you guys recognize this, but I had a hamster named Fish, who is also the hammy on my phone case that I made these stickers based off of and on here. But he was a very special hamster and I've never had a hammy like him before. He was like my best friend, so I was really sad when he passed away but i keep his memory living here on my desk with his little home this was like one of his favorite little houses and i miss him so much so this house has a lot of memories for me maybe me and fishma will meet again in another life i just keep this up here to remind me of you know inspiration and things i like we have another one of these guys up here and down here we just have some miscellaneous things this is a container of a bunch of products that i use so we have like pliers and other things like that that are not as glamorous and then up here we have a little pusheen that someone sent me one time super cute little keychain that i made and then down here we have like my findings that i use and i've actually organized them really really well surprisingly 
a little tape dispenser. And then over here, we just have some everyday packing things that I use. We have plastic sleeves, envelopes back here, smaller envelopes over here. We have some plastic coverings I actually want to upgrade into biodegradable stuff soon. These are some of my thank you notes that I use when I pack people's orders. Some commonly used things down here. So we have these Ocean Friends sticker sheets, ceiling stickers, as well as my business cards down here and what I use to seal up my sticker packs. So these are like the top labels that I use. But we have my business cards as well down here and my old business cards that I've just been giving out so I can get rid of them. And then these are just two blind box containers that I've been using to hold some things that I don't need. Lastly down here, it's just a little ditto trinket tray with a bunch of little things I've made for dittos. So it's just some fun stuff in there. But I think that is pretty much it to my desk. There is quite a bit of stuff up here, but a lot of it is just to be cute. Only some of it is functional for sure. And so that is pretty much everything on my desk. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini desk tour as well as just a little update on the products that I've been using to make YouTube videos. I had a lot of fun filming this and sharing my little space with you guys. This is like my little sanctuary when I try to make little things. So I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it for more videos like this and I will see you guys in the next video. So stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you when I see you. Bye everyone!